We're at Twain Reed Gallery. We are currently opening a sculptural show of three artists. We've got Dryden Wells and Andrea Moon, who are both located in St. Louis. And we also have Hoyan Chung. This is a sculptural show. Uh, we have three artists who are dealing with scale and mass in completely different ways. So in the front room, we've got Andrea and Dryden, both are ceramic artists dealing with massive works, um, but both different sides of the same coin. So Andrea works in large scales built out of complicated lattice work. The works I have on display are new works. They are sculptures that talk about pattern and control of chaos through making. My works are formal ideas about the material of clay and the working of repeating a meditation of just making parts. I develop my style through making multiples or repeating form with multiples in clay through the idea of working in administration and education. My daily usually is full with uh, a nine to five job. And so when I get home at the studio and I wanna create, I can meditate by just making parts. And then what I do is I accumulate all of these great parts and create a sculpture or a form and I can build structure and walls with these parts. So a lot of times when I'm making, it's about that pure meditation and conversation that I get to have as I'm building. Alongside Andrea, we have Dryden Wells, another ceramic artist who is also working with scale, but in an entirely different way. So the works in this exhibition are new works. Um, I intentionally tried to make larger works, um, a much larger scale uh, than I had previously been working. There's basically three bodies of work that I'm working through. There are figurative forms, I have some wall pieces and some vessel forms in the front of the gallery. For many years, I lived abroad. I worked in China. I worked um, for, for different production studios. Um, I was making tableware. And so a lot of my work and influence was based on the vessel. And so when I make these pieces, while they are sculptural, I very much still have the idea of vessels in my head. Like I'm still thinking about vessels. I'm thinking about their form. I'm thinking about volume. I'm thinking about how something starts and stops. So this has been a good opportunity to branch off that, the time spent working on tableware, objects of daily use. It's still very much feeding the work. The show continues in the next room with Hoyan Chung. In contrast to the first room, Hoyan's works are much smaller, lighter, airier. They can be experienced on the wall or a shelf, but they can also be used as jewelry. Each one contains a pin, which you can wear as a brooch, Hoyan currently lives in Seoul, South Korea, but she's exhibited internationally. She's also a teacher and has taught many of her techniques to her students. So we're absolutely thrilled to have her work at the gallery. The exhibition runs through February 26th. And for more information, you can visit our website at duanereadgallery.com.